along my food adventures around Singapore, I've eaten a lot of wonton noodles. I've also eaten wonton noodles in other countries. And I've noticed one thing about wonton noodles in Singapore. There is no single style that you can put your finger on as Singapore style wonton noodles. There's a lot of different styles at different shops all over the island. So in this video, after the intro, we will go through some of the different styles that you can find in Singapore. So stay tuned for that. Welcome to another adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are doing something different. Instead of going to different places to eat, we are going to explore one category of food. The category is noodles. And one subcategory of that noodles is wonton noodles or wonton mi. I've been to Singapore, all around Singapore, and to other countries too. And I've tried their wonton mis there. And in each country I've gone to, there is a particular style of wonton noodles that you can actually attribute to that particular country and a lot of places in that country sell that food the same style the same way. In my travels, in my food adventures, I've noticed one thing. There's no one particular style of wonton noodles in Singapore. There are styles that come from other countries, you know, like those that actually copy the Malaysian style or even now, commonly now, we actually have uh, Hong Kong style uh, wonton noodles coming in because they are actually opening chains of Hong Kong wonton restaurants in Singapore itself. But the interesting thing is, if you go around the island, you know, maybe because Singapore is, by itself is so small, you know, by itself, you know, to compete with the, um, the coffee shop across the street or a few blocks down, you know, they had to adapt, they had to you know, do something different. So a different style of wonton noodles was developed in Singapore. So you go around the island, different shops have their own different interpretation of these wonton noodles. So that's what we're going to explore today. So let's start off our food adventure here today by going to Hong Kong. And in Hong Kong, the most popular style of Hong Kong wonton noodles is the soup kind. I'm not saying that you cannot get other types of other versions at like the dry type. I'm sure most, some shops will sell different versions of this dish. But the most popular, the locals eat it. Tourists who come to Hong Kong always eat this version, which is the Hong Kong style version, which is the soup version. There are four main components to the Hong Kong style wonton noodle. First of all, you need to have a good soup. Second of all, noodles, nice firm texture noodles. Third, the wonton, full with shrimp. And lastly, the garlic chives, which is a garnish. And my favorite place to go for Hong Kong wonton style noodle is this place here called Jin Chai Ki, which is along Wellington Street in central Hong Kong. They do make a very good Hong Kong style soup wonton me dish. First of all, the soup itself is flavorful. When you taste it, you can taste the goodness in it. The pork bones, the fish, you know, all the different ingredients they put into the soup itself. And they also keep the MSG to a minimum. Then the noodles has a nice bite to it. You know, nice tooth texture when you bite into it al dente. But what I really really like here is their wonton. Their wonton is big compared to other shops around and it's stuffed full with prawn fresh prawn, bouncy, springy prawn when you bite into it oh, so delicious this is one of my favourite places to eat wonton noodle when I'm in Hong Kong another shop that I also like to go to in Hong Kong is this place here called Good Hope Noodles it's actually in Mong Kok, Hong Kong and this shop itself their wonton noodles is also good the soup, when you taste it, it's clear and very flavorful. There's noodles, nice and springy when you bite it. 
and then the one tan and you eat bite to eat you know you know that there's actually prawn in it and the prawn is fresh and bouncy and then when you eat it all together oh delicious if you are tired of eating just wonton noodles you can also order brief biscuit noodles which they also sell at this shop here and the brief biscuit here is nice tender and soft and delicious very very good another place that i'm familiar with uh, for eating wonton noodles will be uh, Malaysia or Kuala Lumpur itself. In Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia itself, Kuala Lumpur, the style of wonton noodles is the dry style. The wonton noodles itself is served with a dark soya sauce. So the ingredients of the wonton noodles will be uh, the noodles, and then you have char siu, which is barbecue pork. And then you have the dark soya sauce, which that means that your noodles itself is dry. Another ingredient will be the wonton, which will be served separately in a small bowl with soup. So, okay, let's talk, talk about the wonton noodles first. First of all, the wonton noodles, there's actually a dark soya sauce uh, that they use to actually flavor the noodles. This soya sauce is actually has a very strong taste and when you eat the noodles, this is the predominant flavor you get together with the noodles. And it's also slightly sweet. The noodles itself is also nice and firm and has a very nice bite texture. The char siu was just okay. Nothing really special about the char siu. Uh, char siu which is the barbecue pork. But the wonton was a bit of a surprise. When I bite into it, not only does it have the feeling of uh, minced meat, but they also put in some kind of dried fish into the filling itself so it gave it a more fragrant taste to the wonton itself so overall the wonton was also good due to the close proximity of malaysia and singapore it's not surprising that you can also get malaysian style wonton noodle in singapore and these are some of the places that you can actually get it at first of all will be this place here called Fong Ki roasted which is actually near Chinatown in Singapore and this place does serve uh, Malaysian style wonton noodles so this shop itself is basically a roast meat shop so they actually roast their own cha siu siu yo uh, roast duck okay so barbecue pork roast pork and roast duck so you can either have it with rice or with noodles and the noodles here are nice and springy and you can see that they actually serve the noodles itself with a dark soya sauce that you actually uh, mix into your noodles but the sauce itself is slightly different in the sense that it's more watery and not as thick and concentrated as the one you get in Malaysia but it's still very similar to the style you get in Malaysia and another shop that actually sells Malaysian style wonton noodles is here at Maxwell Food Center and it's this shop here called Fu Shun Shao La Mian Jia so this shop itself is supposed to be a, a roast meat shop so they give you a choice of rice or noodles so you can choose the wonton noodles here which I did I also ordered two types of meat uh, cha siu and siu yok which is barbecue pork and roast pork and as you can see the cha siu done really nicely it has the nice outer layer which is nicely caramelized and a bit char and the roast pork crispy and salty and with lots of fatty goodness but the noodles itself nice and firm but the only issue i have with this is they didn't give you enough sauce the sauce here as you can see is a dark sauce but it's slightly more starchy than your normal sauce you get and there's not enough sauce to coat all the noodles even though the noodle portion is quite generous for this shop so now let's start to explore the different types of wonton noodles that you can get in Singapore the first type that we are going to look at is not a soupy version of the wonton noodles but I would consider it I would call it a more saucy type of wonton noodles because the noodles are served to you with a very very generous amount of sauce until after you finish eating your noodles there's still 
a lot of sauce left on the plate. A very good example of the saucy kind of wonton noodles is from this shop here called Kwok Ki Wonton Noodles. Unfortunately, this shop has closed down. The owners here, I think they have retired, but they do have a relative in Jurong West 505 Market and Food Centre. They actually sell a similar wonton noodle using the same recipe that you can go and try if you want to. But this is the original shop itself. So what you have is you have the wonton and the char siu together with a bit of cut vegetables together with the wonton noodle and it's very saucy. That means there's a lot of sauce in the noodles itself. So the char siu itself, which is a very typical Singaporean types of char siu, which is very lean and the outer, lip, outer part or the skin, outer layer is reddish in colour and they doesn't have much charring or caramelization on the outer side. Okay. So the noodles itself is soaked in a delicious, savory, sweet sauce that is very flavorful, that you know, goes very well together with the noodles. And normally what happens is after I finish all the noodles, all the ingredients, everything done, the remaining sauce, I will actually slurp it down. Guiltily, that's what I do. Another version of this kind of saucy kind of wonton uh, dish, you can actually find it at Koka Wonton uh, Noodles, which is actually at North Beach Road Food Centre. This is another place that actually has a very long waiting time because people come here and actually take away, do take away orders, but they take over, take away a large amount of orders, like 20 packets at one time, those kind of thing. So like the previous one, you also have lots of sauce at the end there but this sauce here is not as flavorful not as delicious as uh, Koki the previous one but still okay it has a very wide variety of different ingredients you also have the char siu which is a Singapore style you also have some mushroom then the noodles and the sauce the sauce itself they put in a bit of chili and the wonton they actually put it in the bowl of soup overall I felt that I think when, when I went there and ordered this noodle, I find that it, the portion size was very, very small and a bit overpriced, but people still like to eat this noodle. This is a very popular uh, supper dish for some people. Another variation of Singapore style wonton noodles is where you actually add in like a chili paste together with the sauce and eat it together with your noodles and you normally have this dry and one of the places you can actually have a good version of this is at Hua Ki Haogang famous wonton mee which is at Old Airport Road Food Center so for this shop itself what they did was they dumped everything together in one plate and they give you a, another bowl of soup. So the one time that was supposed to be in the soup, they put it together in your bowl. And also they put in deep fried wontons. So you have the Singapore style char siu with the red skin and lean meat. And then you also have the noodles, which are nice and firm. And you also have the sauce, which they put it together with like a chili paste. And so it's a savory, spicy sauce. So together with the noodles and what I like here is the contrasting bite texture between the crispy deep fried wontons and the nice firm noodles with the uh, wonton that was in the soup itself so overall this is a very interesting wonton noodle that you can find in Singapore where they actually add in chili together with the sauce itself instead of giving you like cut green chilies or cut red chilies that is how you normally uh, that they normally serve with the Malaysian style of wonton noodle since we're talking about sauces in Singapore another way that certain shops differentiate themselves from other shops is that instead of just adding chili sauce together with the noodles they also add in tomato ketchup too 
a very uniquely Singaporean way of cooking wonton noodles. One of the shops that has this style is this shop here called Guang's Wonton Mi, which is actually in Geylang along Sims Avenue. And here is the dish itself. So the noodle dish itself has a char siu. This char siu is a mixture of Malaysian and Singaporean style because you can see that the skin itself is reddish in color. They use lean meat, but there's also some parts of it which is fatty and the sides are a bit charred, which you don't normally see in a Singapore style uh, char siu. The noodles itself has a very nice texture and there's actually a uh, wonton uh, noodle sauce itself together with chili and tomato ketchup. But once you actually mix the noodles itself, you can actually see that all the sauce is actually absorbed into the noodles itself. And unfortunately, this noodles was a bit dry. But it has a very nice uh, chili and savory taste to it. And like I said earlier, I really like the char siu here. And next up is this really old school Singapore style wonton noodle shop, which is actually at Topayo Lorong 4 Food Center. And if I would, of all the wonton noodles I've eaten, I would consider this the closest to what I would think, or what I, in my opinion, would be a Singapore style. First of all, you have the Singapore style char siu, which is reddish skin and lean meat. And then you have noodles, which is in the dry style. Okay, nice, good textured noodles. You have some cut vegetables. And then you have the sauce. The sauce itself will be a light colored sauce, like soya sauce. And then you also have chili together with tomato ketchup in it. And then the wontons are served separately in a bowl in, with soup in it. And when you mix the noodles up, what will happen is the noodles itself should absorb in all the sauce into the noodles itself. And the, like I said, the noodles itself has to have nice spike texture to it. You know, if it's too soft, then no point of eating wonton noodles. So this is the dish itself that I would think most closely resemble what I think of as a Singapore style. But not exactly nowadays because nowadays, a lot of shops try to differentiate themselves by doing the dish differently by adding extra ingredients or serving it in a different style. Some places are trying to actually differentiate themselves from other shops by adding different ingredients. And like this place here called Park Lane Cha Yun Tun Mi House, which is at Sunshine Plaza on Bencoolen Street. What they do is they actually have a combination of Malaysian style noodles which you have the dark soya sauce together with the noodles which is nice and firm with Singapore style char siu and deep fried wonton. Deep fried wonton is actually a very good addition to this dish because what I feel is you have the nice crispy uh, deep fried wonton which gives you a very nice contrasting bite texture in contrast to the nice firm noodles. And here the, they have a very dark and thick soya sauce. This shop itself also does the same thing. What it does is they have deep fried wonton, the deep fried wonton together with the noodles and the sauce here, you also actually have a chili sauce, chili paste together add together with the sauce. And then the wonton in the soup here was also not too bad. Uh, better than a lot of places because a lot of places they put too much skin. The skin is too thick. But here, you see there's a chili paste there at the side. And the noodles itself also has a very, very nice tex uh, texture to it. So this is also another good wonton noodles. And the char siu or the barbecue pork here is also nice and tender. And not a tough like in some places. Some shops differentiate themselves by doing their roasted meat very well. Like this shop here at Feifei Roasted Noodles, which is actually in uh, Yuhua Village Market. 
in Jurong East. And what they do here, the noodles itself is good, nice texture to it, enough seasoning, but what's really really good here is the char siu. The char siu here, the outer, the outer layer, super flavorful. You know, you just need a small piece of the char siu, it'll help you to flavor your mouthful of noodles. And there's a nice char to it. They do it to perfection. They actually know how to do the char siu very well here. And this is the duck. The duck is also nice and meaty with the skin. But what they really do well is the char siu. The char siu, look at the char on the char siu itself. Very, very good. And the noodles. As you can see, the noodles here, very lightly seasoned with the sauce itself because the char siu will give you all the flavor you need for the noodles. In every mouthful of noodles, just add in one char siu and then that char siu will provide the flavor for the whole mouthful. Another place that does their char siu very well is this place here called Sungai Road Roasted, which is actually along Jalan Perse, which is near Jalan Persa. Actually, this shop is actually near the Sungai Road Laksa. But here it is, the char siu itself. It's very similar to Malaysian style. As you see, there's actually a dark soya sauce that they add to the noodles. But the, so the sauce itself is more watery than the, Singapore, than the Malaysian style. And look at the char siu. The char siu here is done very well. And look at the charred uh, outer layer. And then look at the fat in the meat itself. And noodles also, good texture. But the char siu here, done really well. I was actually very surprised because this is actually not a very, very... It's not a very well-known shop because a lot of people come here to eat the Sungai Road Laksa and not many people uh, eat from this store itself. But the roasted meat here is really good. You should give it a try and look at that. The char siu, the siu yolk. Ooh, good. Besides Hong Kong style and Malaysian style wonton noodle. There's also Thai style wonton noodles. And there are quite a few Singaporeans who actually went overseas into Thailand and came back and opened up these types of stores to serve Thai style wonton noodle. The main difference between Thai style wonton noodles and the local style is that the Thai style wonton noodle is supposed to be dry. Okay. So once you mix up all the noodles, the noodles itself is supposed to absorb all the sauce and the noodles at the end is supposed to be dry and the, you're supposed to eat to taste more of the noodles than really the sauce itself. And here, at this shop here, at, called Fatty Thai, which is actually a long Jalan Besar, the, they make the char siu here quite nice and tender and the noodles itself has a nice texture to it and also, it will be dry after you mix up all the noodles. As you can see, uh, I'm doing that now. The noodles itself does have a nice texture to it. Here you are, dry. So, the sauce actually is absorbed into the noodles itself. And lastly, if you are near Amoy Street, I will suggest you to drop by Amoy Street Food Center to, drop, to look for this store called a Noodle Story. They style themselves as a Singapore style ramen, but for me, I feel that they are more like very interesting style of wonton noodle that you can only find in Singapore in this particular store. So this wonton noodle itself incorporates different cooking styles from different countries and incorporate it into one dish. So what you have is you have the normal wonton noodles, and then you have char siu, which is sous vide in a hot in a a hot water bath then you have a prawn wrapped in potato noodles and then deep fried with an onsen egg and then you also have Hong Kong style wontons together in one dish so overall this dish is a dish where you incorporate cooking styles cooking methods from different countries 
and making something new and unique. So if you're ever nearby, drop down and try. So in summary, in Singapore, there's no fixed style of wonton noodles. And if you find one store that cooks the wonton noodle the way you like it, you just go back and just keep going back to that store and eat the wonton noodle the way you like it. And I guess that brings the end to this food adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. So please, if you like what you see here, please like, share and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would appreciate it if you do. And lastly, but the most important thing you need to do is to join me for my next food adventure. Bye-bye.